As you know, I just uh, asked the, the judge to uh, remove the conditions. Um, when I initially asked for these, uh, asked for a uh, bail, I didn't expect it to take this long. My sentence should have, uh, initially should have ended uh, this past October. But here I am. Uh, the Canadian government has put this court in a position where it has to enforce a judgment and a ruling that was derived from torture, the same torture that the Canadian government has apologized for. This is not the first time my life has been uh, held in suspension. And I'm going to continue to fight this uh, injustice. And thankfully, we have, we have an actual court system that has actual rules and laws. The time that the American courts are taking to deal with Mr. Cotter's appeal is preposterous. Uh, this sort of situation could never occur in Canada. The delay to this point is, is absolutely uh, unbelievable. And uh, because of that uh, situation, you know, some circumstances need to change in terms of his bail conditions. How confident? How delays right now? That's just the nature of the Guantanamo Bay system. Uh, there's this untested court. It's the same reason why the people charged with uh, uh, having committed the 9-11 attacks still aren't in trial. It's just an untested, uh, terrible, terrible system. If Mr. Cotter were to commence parole, uh, that parole would terminate within a year or two. Uh, as long as he's on bail pending appeal, it will continue as long as his appeal in the United States continues, which has not moved forward.